Hey guys, this is the uh, this is going to be an unboxing and a general overview of the Honeywell Five Model Five One One Three safe. It's a it's a uh, digital safe, and you'll see. And I'm opening it for the first time myself. Obviously, it is it's sealed up here. So I bought it from Amazon for eighty six dollars, <throat> free shipping. So. Um, there are cheaper safes, but I'll explain why I got this one over, say, a $39 or $49 one uh, in a moment when I get it out. First, let's just remove the Amazon box here. Okay. Just turn this over. Let me get this in shot here. Okay. Tilt it up for the uh, camera. And uh, looks like it's picking up most of this. Okay. As you can see, it's made of steel. Uh, it says theft, uh, theft protection. Obviously, it's a safe. <laughs> But uh, I'll discuss uh, some of the features that this has that some of the other safes do not that do help it. Um, so I'm not going to read all of this, but I am just going to show the box. Uh, what is ni nice is it does have a seven year warranty, which is nice. Um, here's the side of the box if you'd like to pause the video. <coughs> and in the back. Again, pause if you want to look at any of that. Uh, I'll see if I can zoom in on parts of this because it does have uh, dimensions there on it. Make this full screen and pause it if you'd like to see the dimensions there. Let me put it up back to a wide view. Let's see what we have here. The uh, dimensions of the safe itself, just that's an important thing. Uh, our height 9.84 inches, width 13.78 inches, and diameter uh, depth rather 9.84 inches. So it's basically 10 by 14 by 10. Inside dimensions inside the safe, inside here, uh, is 9.69 height, 13.62 width and 7.87 depth so it's it's really close to the actual outside dimensions except for the depth is about two inches uh, smaller obviously that's safe it's thick has walls all that good stuff uh, so the depth's going to be a little bit shorter so let's, let's go ahead and open it up let's not waste time so here's the unboxing for people who like like that part of it so you know what comes with it and all that good stuff all right let's see unboxing this is the way it's going to look on top when you open it up we have one pair well this is a box here man bag this bag the rest of this is the safe itself so i'll just can take this bag out we'll talk about what accessories this has Okay, I'll go ahead and open it up and get the items out. That bag going off to the side has one user manual, which is uh, in French and English, and uh, looks like uh, Spanish. So English, French, and Spanish. There you go. I think we I think we can figure this one out without the manual. Oh, this is nice. It, uh, it's an electronic lock, and they include the uh, batteries. If you're curious, these are AA, obviously four of them. So <coughs> that's that's quite handy. <coughs> and then uh, we have some nice bolts. These are actually very very good bolts. Um, and two screws and some washers here. The safe can obviously be mounted, secured against various things 
All right, let's put this off to the side. I won't be using the bolts right now, or maybe ever. And keys, very interesting looking keys. Um, you get two keys. These are going to be identical keys, and you see the length of them. I can give an object for comparison. This is a AA battery, and it's the key. So you see how long that is. So it's not really a key that you're going to want to put on your key ring. Very, very, very long. Uh, I know the safe has a barrel lock, which is good. Uh, so these keys uh, are made for that purpose, and you won't have any uh, issues if you happen to put this on a key ring. Uh, distinguishing this key is the safe key. <clears throat> and as with any key to a safe, uh, this is needed uh, because it's an electronic safe uh, and batteries go dead and uh, you can always open the safe with the key. We'll look at that closer later, but there's two keys. I will be using this to, I imagine I'll have to open it with this uh, or utilize this in some way to start off with. So let's get the safe out of the, uh, out of the box. Here we are. Here it is. Packed in foam. And then some bubble wraps around it. I'm just going to turn it over again. I know it's a safe, I'm still trying to be a little gentle with it. I know it's got shelves in it and stuff. All right. Put this box aside. And the corners, looks like the corners are packed like this. So it's well packed. It is a safe, but it needs to be uh, packed. It's nice that it's packed reasonably well, or very well actually. So let me get these corners off. Get the bubble wrap off, which is there, just keep from getting scratched. Okay, the safe actually is open. Don't know if this is a, if this is a typical. I believe there's they they generally come closed, but maybe they change that. I don't know. All right, here we go. I'll, I'll show you this. This seems kind of. Important. This is the front of the safe. This piece of foam, specific fit foam, is protecting the digital display. As you can see, that's recessed. So that, that's nice. And uh, this is the uh, display. Um, Honeywell badge on this side of it. Uh, your serial number is down here. Uh, do not remove the uh, a serial number. You'll need this if you ever have to have it serviced. Only thing that would ever go bad, I would imagine, obviously, this is just this is a st still safe would be the uh, something with the di the digital lock. Anyways, let's open it up. Since it's already opened, they may have started to do that on some of the new ones to make it easier to set up because you have to put batteries in it. I can see already it has carpet carpet you know that's a nice touch so that things won't get scratched up in there it has a obviously removable shelf here which I'm going to attempt to take out it will come out but actually I'm going to so I'm just going to I leave it in there it has a, a rack whether you can see that very well I actually have a flashlight I forgot this this may help you guys see the inside of it door is very heavy. Uh, there's inside and as you can see it has a, a rack there. Slide. Push, push this up a bit. You should be able to see this slide, the uh, guide here on each side which holds that shelf. Obviously you can remove that if you just want the whole safe itself like it is. Uh, I want to see if I have something to elevate this, prop this safe up on quickly to uh, so it's better has a little bit better camera view angle what you want to call it let's get this out of the way this will give it a little height <coughs> and yeah I'll Excuse me, I'm doing this just in, in one take because uh, I like unboxing. If I ever watch unboxing, I like to see it truly as the person is doing it the first time, if that makes sense, instead of some rehearsed type of deal or whatever. Uh, so I'm just going to lower the camera down like this so you get a good view. 
that looks better like you can see what I'm you know the inside of it and here's the flashlight again for the interior of the case the door is quite uh, thick and this is the uh, electronic LED panel with the options we'll talk about that so first things first is it came with the batteries first things first is this battery panel here Let me try to turn this a little bit your way so we want to put batteries in it uh, first and we want the safe uh, one thing that I do want to show you is it has a hidden key which obviously someone could figure that out fairly easily but still it's a nice little touch it has a, a, a grommet type of deal there to hide the keyhole so I'm going to try to be gentle with that to get that off utilize the key here to show that it comes off very easy there it is and now we see the keyhole for the safe and so I will open the safe up again and pay attention to the locking mechanism on the doors and so I'm going to insert the key it just goes straight in with this this end up and just think of it as the direction you turn the key is the direction these uh, locking mechanism bolts are going to, going to move so uh, right is going to actually uh, pull them in and left should push them out. We'll find out. If this, if this cooperates with me, make sure you have the key in all the way. <coughs> Bear with me. This is indeed my first time with the safe. And you saw them come in there. There. On that they will go out a lot further than that but for now it's unlocked so I'm going to uh, keep it like that and we'll, we'll go ahead and put the batteries in <clears throat> the main purpose of the key is to unlock it so here we are opening up the battery panel we just has a little grip there like that you just push it forward and it comes off and then you should see the uh, panel itself which shows the directions of the batteries <clears throat> if you're not familiar with springs and such in battery compartments just follow the uh, battery directions the brand uh, are pair deer batteries super heavy duty they, they are mercury free um, I imagine these are alkaline but uh, whatever they'll, they'll work for a while so let's, let's look at the uh, safe door here and the first battery goes this way let me verify yeah is that way in okay these slide let's make sure the top two the bits of the top two go positive in that way so got that one in and stick this one all right and the bottom two are going to go the opposite direction I imagine yes bottom two go positive in this way so the bottom two will go in the safe like sorry like so anyways you get the idea you, you'll see it when you, when you do it so and it beeps, so that means the battery just got power. So I'll just slide this back on. All right. So let's see here. Let's get this thing back on the little. Alrighty. I do have the uh, got a manual here. Just so I tell it the right way. Step one is open the safe with the override key, which we did, and as I, I noted, it was already open uh, out of the box for me. <coughs> uh, so, 
And then it says install covers. We, we just uh, did that. And it says don't close it up until you test the uh, digital lock. So the factory uh, uh, code is 159. You can enter a three to six digit code um, for these safes. Uh, so, it's, so you want to enter that uh, code, I believe. Let's see. Uh, to test it, uh, remove the override key. We have the key out. Uh, and enter the factory passcode 159. And, and immediately after entering the code, press the lock key. So. Uh, down here we had the lock key as you see it, it the lock key also tells you the battery status you push the bat there's two statuses high and low battery so if you ever want to see the battery status you just tap the lock key that's that's one of the features so I'm gonna put in one five nine and push lock so one five nine you see that's entered it shows on the screen I press locked and let's see, it just locked the safe. So obviously to open it back up, I will enter one, five, nine, lock, and it says opened. And there we are, safe's opened. It's that easy. So <coughs> I, brought, uh, I, brought a, I brought one item you would put in a safe. If you want to keep your kids away or whatnot. This is a gun. So, show you that. We have a uh, CZ75, just 9mm here. Chamber's clear. Um, so, and I'm keeping the mag out. I'm just showing you an example. Uh, put the flashlight back on it. Putting the gun in there on the carpeted surface. Fits very easily. The mag magazine or several magazines would fit just fine. Uh, this is uh, half a cubic foot uh, into your space, if that makes more sense to you. Already get, I've already given you the uh, dimensions at the beginning of the video. So let's put in a uh, new code. I just want to put in one, two, three, four. Uh, let's see. So to lock uh, the safe with the new passcode, you close the door and you enter the new code and then you press lock. It's that, it's that simple. So I'm going to uh, let me zoom this in. It's a little bit on that. I'm going to put in one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and press lock. And you should be able to read. It says closed. And now that's that's the new code. So to unlock it, one, two, three, four, push the lock key, and it's open. As you see, it's that easy. So every time you, you could technically change the code. But I was say I wanted to make it one, three, two, one, 13, 21, lock. That's now the new code. 13, two, one, lock, and it's opened. So... <coughs> Just to show you that it's opened, get to get to my stuff. Uh, it's nice, uh, and you don't. And, and just in case you're wondering, you do not have to change the code uh, for each time you open the safe or close the safe. That's just uh, it's kind of a hotel. It's kind of a hotel style feature. Uh, these are common in uh, hotel rooms uh, where each guest can enter a code, and and it's it's unique. Again, it allows it up to six digits. Three to six digits. It has to have at least three digits and it cannot have any more than six. So I'm going to change the code to one, two, three, four, five, six here. Two, three, four, five, six to show you that it will hold six digits and lock it and it's closed. And then we'll open it back up. One, two, three, four, five, six. There it is opened and I'll show you again. that that's the high battery modification so you you, uh, you can't just push lock to, to uh, close it and whatnot uh, but you have to put the code in you can't turn that beep off and I'll show you how and I'm just doing it so I think you get I get the idea of the code uh, and 
for privacy reasons, people don't may not want uh, people to see the uh, code that they're putting in, right? If someone's near you. So I believe you push the clear button, then the code. One, two, three, four, five, six. Notice it's not showing the code. And do that, and it opens. So let's do it again to close it. Let's push clear. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lock. There you go. So that is how you do it uh, privately. Okay. And to turn the beeps off. If the beeps are annoying, they can be. I have heard that you, you press clear twice rapidly. And you see BP off, it says. So let me do it again. Push the clear button rapidly twice. Beep on. BP on. And then beep off. So uh, let me just show you. It's currently locked. So let's, let's uh, do it in privacy mode again. I'll push clear one time. One, two, three, four, five, six. No beeps. And there you go. So that's how quiet it can be and it doesn't have to be seen. And I'll turn the beeps back on just by pressing the clear button twice. And uh, we'll lock it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there you are. That is, that's, it's that simple. It really is. So let's, so let's talk about the, uh, uh, a well first let me just go over a couple things. What happens um, if you forget your code, uh, you don't have your key handy, uh, and you enter the code wrong? Okay, first of all, on the code box, let me turn this flashlight off. Uh, <coughs> on the code box, if you say the code is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like I have, and you, you're entering the code, and I'm 1, 2, and then I accidentally hit both these buttons, and you see that's out of order, you can just push the clear button and it will erase that code and it won't count towards an incorrect code and you just start over, okay? Now, <clears throat> uh, if you enter the incorrect code, I'll do it uh, one, two, two, like that. It's gonna beep and tell you E code for error. If you do that three times, it will lock this mechanism out. I'm not gonna do it because I, I don't wanna wait five minutes on it. But uh, three times we'll, uh, uh, we'll lock the uh, thing out for five minutes. Uh, and obviously, if you want to still open during that time, go, go grab your key and uh, put it in. You know, <coughs> and, and obviously you can always manually unlock it with uh, the key. There we go, unlocked it. Key. Locked it with the key. Okay and uh, key, only time I'm ever going to use the key likely is change the battery, so I'm going to stick the grommet back on to hide the key location, and that's that. Uh, these keys are a little bit different, but that's all I needed to uh, discuss on the uh, feature, so let's talk about the case design real, real quickly here. Uh, what makes it, uh, why I chose this one in particular over some other ones? Well, first off, it has, let me back this out a little bit so you, so you can uh, see the, uh, the case, the full case. It has hidden hinges. Now most, most, case, most safes do now. But uh, that obviously makes it uh, very, um, it makes it more difficult to crow, you know, break off a hinge. If they're, they're on the inside and you can't see it. Okay, um, it, this is steel, so it's, it's tough. It's, it, it's going to be tough to get in. You can bust this up and, as you see, let's open it back up. <coughs> to look at the, uh, the door size here, I mean, it's thick. Uh, this house is the uh, panel, but it's, it's uh, I mean, you can, someone could, could bust this thing all up and, then, and they're not going to have a big hole or something that's going to open the safe. It's, it's, not, going, it's not going to open. Uh, if you, they destroyed this panel for for some reason, the actual handle is down here. Let me lock it again. One, two. See, I, I messed up just then, so push clear. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me lock it up, and I'll show you where the actual handle. Because I, I just been pulling this, and which you can, but if you look at it, that's not really a handle. I mean, I guess it is, but it doesn't have like a edge on it. The handle's on the bottom of this thing. That's just the uh, my gun. <laughs> uh, anyways, the camera should pick this up. Perhaps I'll I'll take the camera off so we can get up. 
better view some things here. All right, here we go. <clears throat> yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. Is here, you see that lip? It's right there. So now that is an easy way to open the safe with some force. You don't need it, it's so easy that I have the case upside down or on its back. We'll, we'll see. To open it, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and lock. There it is opened, and I'll pull up here. And there we go. And of course, my, my items fell back a little bit because this, is, uh, this case is going to be, this safe is going to be stationary. It's not going to be turned on its back like I just did. Uh, and as you see right here, you see that hole and then the hole right there? That is for uh, mounting it. If you want to secure it to a uh, 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 wall, a uh, two by four stud, um, the floor, you know anything uh, that's what that that's what that's for so it makes it much more difficult for someone to uh, just obviously they can just grab this safe and just like any other safe and if it's not secured or something it's really easy just to pick it up right so let me uh, turn the safe back to its well let me close it again. Let me close this up again this close view is nice um, and again, let's do the uh, privacy here. So I hit the clear button twice. No, I mean once, I'm sorry. Twice, remember, turns the beep off or on. So if I hit it once, that's just privacy mode. And it doesn't, does not show the code. And then lock is, that's the button, only button that opens and closes it. And uh, I, just, I just wanted to uh, show that. It's closed up now. So I put the case keep calling it a case of the safe back upright the way it's going to be sitting. There it is. Uh, any other features I need? Let's see. Down here again is the serial code. Don't you don't need to remove that. It's not in your way. But and that would be for the seven year warranty. They will replace the uh, case if, if it's damaged. Which again I think the only thing that would really go bad would be this. Uh, part of it if anything did and if and of course as is typical if this is model is discontinued they will replace it with a new model of equal value I guess you could say <clears throat> um, that pretty that, that pretty much covers it the uh, uh, the finish is a powder coat it's a uh, mine is a black obviously black but it's a powder coat, so very scratch resistant, I guess you could say. It's got a texture. You should be able to see that on the camera. You can see it there. It's got a textured feel to it. And then just to show you the back, because I have it, you can see how many mounting holes you actually have here to work with. There you go. You see you've got a mounting hole over there. You got one, two, three there, and then one over on that end. Okay, so it, uh, it's got a lot of options to secure it very well. So someone can't easily come and just pick it up. This case, this safe weighs uh, 22.7 pounds. So that gives you an idea of the weight of it. And again, it's, it's uh, 0.50, it's half of a cubic foot. And uh, it's a Weller Model 5113. And a couple of things <laughs> to finish up with here. We're at 29 minutes. Uh, this is, I picked this safe. It, it was $86 on Amazon. You may find it cheaper uh, and with free shipping. Um, and, and the reason I picked this one was because the safes, the safes that are, I forget the brands, but there's a lot of safes that have a keypad that's a little further over here. doesn't have a digital display on it uh, that I recall. And over here it has uh, about this size of a turn, plastic turn, that actually opens and closes it after you enter the code. And there's a known, if you just uh, YouTube how to 
uh, punch a safe hard to open it or crack it or, or whatever, you literally, while you're turning this on the other safes, you can hit the safe with your fist like that, you know, moderately hard, and it will it will cause the bolts just to move enough to where the safe opens up. It literally, it's, it's like just a bang on the safe and, then, and that's it. This model <laughs> does not have that. So that's a protection uh, feature. But, it, you know, any safe is gonna be able to be gotten into. Now, the obvious point on this safe that is insecure would be the keyhole. You know, pick that lock. I'm sure, like a lot of safes, you could probably pick it with a paper clip, you know. Uh, they made these keys, again, these keys are very long, so it's a, it's a, uh, <coughs> it's a, uh, I said it at the beginning of the, it's a barrel lock. Uh, and, and they made these keys quite long, so it, it, it's somewhat difficult to get into the actual locking mechanism. But uh, uh, that's that's the point of, in my opinion, that would be the point of where if someone really researched it or knew about safes, they would be yeah, probably be able to open it. I haven't looked at this specific model, but most of them you can uh, uh, easily um, open it with a paperclip or or some other type of metal object uh, if you know what you're doing. And I don't think it's very hard. So, what do you do for that if you uh, are concerned? Well, I think what I would do, and I might do this, I'll probably do this with mine. I'll take this cover off. I'll go ahead and do that now. And there's, there's that cover. And here's that hole, just to give you an idea of how deep that is and the type of lock it is and whatnot. Is I would put a couple of uh, I would put super glue around the edges that lip the lip right here on this outside all around the outside and then I would stick it I, I would stick it back on and I would hold it and that would make it where if when someone comes to mess with a the safe, they're not going to get that off. I mean, obviously they can get a, a screwdriver and just scratch it. But generally, a kid or, or someone else trying to pick a lock on a safe like this is trying to do it without someone else noticing that they have been in the safe. And so therefore, if you were to uh, glue this tight shut where it's going to take substantial force where you're going to, it's very likely they're going to scratch this trying to get this off with some the strongest glue that that you that you can put on there uh obviously if you were to disable this by filling in the actual take this off and put in a substance in there a filler substance that disabled this uh that would make it impossible to get into without um you know, the obvious uh, way to get into any safe is to use uh, power tools, you know, to go through the walling of the safe. <clears throat> but that's an uh, inherent danger for obvious reasons because if the batteries die and you've disabled this in a way that you cannot reverse, then you're somewhat in trouble and you'll have to, you know, go into your safe. But it's not that expensive. Like I said, this one was $86. So, you know, if someone's concerned about their kids or teenagers doing that kind of thing, you could do that. And then when the batteries, if the batteries did die on you, uh, if you weren't uh, resilient and pushing the lock button to check the battery status, uh, you know, no big deal. You just order another safe and use power tools to uh, get in this one and it's ruined. You know what I mean? Uh, that's that's your call and that's just an off-the-cuff idea there are probably some other ideas online if you search to make this more secure and the thing is you know people will gripe about safe saying oh it's not secure because it's, it's so easy to pick this lock or or whatever the easy point of of uh, entry which is, since we have the internet is easy to find but I, I respond this way this is about twice the cost not quite twice the cost. This is $86 versus another safe that's fairly, uh, uh, is, would have fit my needs as well, would be uh, like the Sentry models. 
uh, like I said, that have the plastic turns, which they're 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 nice safes, and if and most people don't know about uh, you know the tricks and stuff, so that they're, they're, they're uh, fairly secure. But uh, you know, I went up a model. This is larger than that safe. Uh, I don't know the exact specifications, but it's not twice as large. But I'd say it's probably thirty or forty percent larger. Uh, and um, I like the control panel. The the it's got more functions. Uh, six six digit code codes able to be changed every single time and so on this uh, particular one uh, and my point here is <coughs> if you bought this one which the only point I believe is going to be this key it is basically picking a lock um, well safes the only way you're gonna get a safe that's that's truly secure and no safe is ever true truly secure from from everything the only way you're gonna get one that's truly secure is you're gonna have to spend uh, a lot more money on it it's just that simple so if you want something that works well is is very secure but the but there are there is one option here that may not be that secure if someone happens to go and research it and there are ways that you can disable that, you know, put in a, a metal welding type of filler in there, you know, or solder or something. You know, there's an easy way to, to make that where it would not be possible to use, like I said. Uh, but uh, if you want something that, that that's going to not have, you know, any of that, you're, you're really going to want a dial safe. One that, that, you, that, like, you spin the dial on it. A combination lock, basically. And uh, those safes, uh, for something that's really secure, I mean, you're going to spend, I don't know the, the exact prices, but hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Uh, the, you know, and it just keeps on going up in price with certain qualifications and how secure and how thick the walls are. And then you get to the, the uh, uh, safe that's, you know, 100 pounds or more, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So it, it, there's pros and cons with going more secure. So it just depends, I guess, really what you're going to put in here. I wouldn't put like, <laughs> you know, I mean, look at it this way. Right now, if you don't have a safe, you probably put your valuables in, in just a drawer somewhere, right? Well, you know, at least if you have uh, something like this, uh, you're putting an extra layer there uh, for people, especially if you use those holes on the back to mount it to something where they can't just, if they happen to break into your house or, or the maid's going through your house or whatever the case may be, uh, they can't just pick this up and put it in their car without, uh, you know, going and unbolting uh, five different bolts. And if you mount it a certain way, it'd be just going to be really hard because you because you can open this up. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, you can open this up and use the holes. Let me get this gun out of here. That's right. Um, you can see here, you can push, push this against flush and bolt it in that way. You know, basically drill like pilot holes or whatnot and bolt it in while this thing is flush from the inside. So at that point, the safe has to, you have to open the safe to unbolt it. And that should make sense to you guys. And again, to, uh, I'm gonna turn, if you push this clear button twice, turns the beeps off, that's the way I'm gonna leave it. And uh, for privacy, if someone happens to be in the room, uh, you push the clear button once before you start putting the code in. And you enter your three to six digit code, and you push the lock key. And that's mechanically, automatically pulling those bolts, dual bolts back. Actually, I just locked it then. Push the clear key. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it says open. So, and it's these bolts. And I guess for one, one last thing here, I'll show it working without it closed. I'll show those bolts moving. So, I won't push the, uh, it doesn't matter. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And watch the bolts. Let's push it kind of at an angle here. See that? So there's the actual locking mechanism, just to give you a reference for uh, how large they are. This is the key. This is the key that goes to it. And that's the thickness of it. So they're quite thick, protected by the steel wall of it. Put the flashlight on it here. 
they're protected by the steel wall and we'll put in it the code to uh, this would be locked to open it and I will try to keep the flashlight on it while we film if possible and you can see those move when I push the lock key and you see that now that's obviously unlocked and the uh, two automatic bolts which I would say are about three quarters of an inch in diameter or something like that have recessed so that is open and lastly I'll turn the beats back on with it push and clear twice and put in my code there and lock and it's closed so I hope that helps. I know this is a long, long video, guys, but I tried to uh, do the unboxing first and then go through the uh, features and what I thought about it um, uh, accordingly, I guess you could say. Anyways, I, I recommend the safe. It, it works great, and it's and it's very uh, it's very inexpensive at eighty six dollars on Amazon, and you probably find find it on sale. Again, this is the Honeywell Model 5113. They have lower models and better models, or more expensive models anyways. Take care, guys. Hope that helps.